Hello, welcome back. So, how was our last video? Have you seen our spicy squid? So, have you tried it at home? I hope so. So today, we're going to make a famous bibimbap. It's a rice meal in Korea. So today, we're going to prepare our ingredients for bibimbap. So first, I have here with me the spinach. Spinach. And also, we have here um, mung bean sprout. Paprika. Of course, we do have here the ground pork. We're going to use pork today. But if you don't like pork, you can also um, use uh, beef or chicken meat and we have here onion white onion and I have two eggs because I'm going to make um, for two persons bibimbap I have here garlic and of course I have a slice of apple I'm going to put it in my sauce also we do have our condiments here the chili paste soy sauce, the oil, sesame oil, roasted sesame seed, and of course we do have the salt. Okay, so, that so let's start by marinating our pork. So I will use this one garlic, crush it, mince it. It's moving. My board is moving. Okay, let's put it here. One garlic, and I will put a little of this. Maybe one fourth, and we have for this. This one here. I'm going to marinate um, our pork with soy sauce. Okay, I'm going to put soy sauce. Mm -hmm. One two spoon. Teaspoon of uh, uh, salt. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sesame oil. And of course, this apple. I'm going to smash, crush it. it here and I will put the uh, um, pepper black pepper a little then I'm going to mix this Let's 
leave this to marinate while we are doing and preparing some of our ingredients okay we're going to blanch this uh, uh, spinach so i will turn on my stove and and to cut some here this spinach okay this is now enough okay let's Take this out in order to save water and energy. We're going to take this out and we're going to blanch our mung bean sprout here. And let's put our mung bean here. And let's blanch. So I will wash this to cool down. Okay, so look at this. It's already I can touch it now. It's not hot anymore. I'm going to squish a little water from this. Not really mm, too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just enough. Still, there is water. Okay, then we're going to do this. After we blanch this, we're going to put some seeds and we're gonna season it. Okay, this is enough. We're going to turn this off. And I want to throw this. Okay, it's ready to cool down. So I can squeeze now the water out of our mung bean sprout. A little water like this. Okay. Also this one. Mm -hmm. Also this one. Okay, so this spinach and mung bean are usually made for side dishes in Korea. So right now, let's prepare our seasoning for this uh, vegetable. So I have here my onion. Chop this. this for our mm, saute later this one okay so we have here ready I'm going to mix this separately 
it but in the same uh, plate so I'm going to put because the ingredients are just the same I'm gonna put this sesame oil all over just a little sprinkle of salt and soy sauce then mix it with your hands in Korea they believe that if you prepare foods with your bare hands clean hands the food will really taste so good try okay let's try mm -hmm. mm. okay this one. Mm. okay just enough okay now I'm heating my pan we're gonna fry our egg so that we could have toppings for our bibimbap here and cook our okay so while doing this we're going to cut slice our paprika I think we're gonna we're going to use only one fourth going to do is to cook our pork okay it's hot now the 
put some oil, canola oil. Let's saute our onion. Remember, we marinated this ground pork with apple, garlic, and onion with a little of salt and soy sauce and little sugar, sesame oil. So now you can smell the sesame oil. It's really very mm, good smell. Actually, with this amount of pork, I think this is 250 grams of pork, you said, ground pork. So this will serve maybe four person, four bibimbaps. If you cut this, yeah, four bibimbap will do with this. And even our namu, this uh, mung bean sprout and this spinach sprout can serve for our uh, living box. Okay, nowadays, many people in the world are looking on Korean foods. They are very interested in cooking it, trying to cook it, and even try to taste the food so that's why if you can also learn somehow from this you would also be able to serve it at home but one thing only I want you to know that this is my way of making my living bath no one would tell us the right way it is up to you if you want to put in other vegetables instead of spinach if you can find spinach in your place then you can even use lettuce or some fresh uh, vegetables like also carrots or cabbage or broccoli if you want to it is up to you to make your own bibing bap. So now our pork is already I think it's already done. I will try lower this bit and let's try this. Mm, okay. More hearing and frying. I want to put more a little soy sauce because for me it's uh, a little you know the taste doesn't come out very well I want to put more maybe one spoon I added of soy sauce so that it really looks like this a little darker Try. Mm, it's okay now. Mm -hmm. Now I will put this paprika. 
I will have to because, because my children don't, don't want to eat it fresh in bibimbap. When you put in bibimbap, you would love to somehow half cook it. Because you stop. paprika comes out. Our pork is done. So we're gonna mix. We're gonna prepare our um, bibimbap now. So let's see here. So with this mixture, I'm going to put it on. This is my bowl of rice. I just put a little, not too much. So I'm gonna mm, put this here. you want to put on your bowl yeah maybe that's enough then let's put our this is too big okay let's put this uh, mung bean sprout we call this um, namul right put it here sukchu namul Okay, a little, maybe that's will uh, do like this, this amount. I put it here. Also, this spinach. If you like spinach, you can put more. If not, then just uh, this one will do. Just like this. Okay, that is it. Now, we're gonna put our Kuchujang, this is it. Maybe it depends on the spiciness that you want. Uh, since this is a uh, mild, not really spicy, so maybe this one is enough. So if you like to put more, then it's up to you. You can put it later. Okay. Then you can mm, add a little oil. This is sesame oil. If you don't want, then don't put it. Now, the last one is our egg. It's now the egg on the top. Okay, okay this is now our bibimbap. You can sprinkle a little sesame seed if you're going to serve it to your guest. Okay, like this. So see, this is it. Okay, this is our bibimbap. You can see it? Beautiful, right?